fresh strawberry pie. It's summer in a pie shell. And to get started, I am going to make a pie crust. You can use a store-bought pre-made crust, or you can use your favorite pie crust recipe and make it from scratch. Here's how I made mine. In a bowl, I added one and three quarter cups of all-purpose flour. Next, I added one tablespoon of sugar. I also added a half teaspoon of salt. Next, I cut in a half cup of shortening. I'm using a buttered flavor shortening. You could also use butter or regular shortening. Now that that is all combined, I am now going to bring it all together and add three to four tablespoons of ice cold water. You want to work with ice cold water. And you can add as much water as you like until you reach the, the texture and consistency of the pie dough that you prefer. I like mine on the crumbly side, but there are times that I add more water to bring it together more. But this texture and consistency is good for me. Now I'm just going to form it into a round disc. And at this point, you can chill it for 30 minutes to an hour or until you need to roll it out. But after I form it into a disc, I'm going to go ahead and roll it out. Okay, so now we're back. So here I have my disc formed and between two sheets of parchment paper, I'm going to roll out my pie dough until I reach around 13 to 14 inches in diameter. I'm using a nine inch deep dish pie plate for this. So I'm going to be using that as a guide to make sure I have two to three inches hanging over the sides of my pie dish. So now I'm going to carefully peel off the parchment paper and go ahead and place my pie dough into my pie dish. And after working with your dough, you might want to refrigerate it because as you can see, it did sort of stick to the parchment paper and that's because the dough got kind of warm when I was rolling it out, but I figured it out. Now I am going to tuck in and pinch the edges. I am no professional when it comes to pie dough, so I like a more rustic look. I'm going to use my two knuckles and just crimp the edges and pop it into the freezer for about 15 minutes until I'm ready to bake this. Okay, so my pie dough is ready for the freezer and after I'm going to place it on a baking sheet and bake it in a preheated oven of 350 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. But first I'm going to poke some holes with a fork at the bottom. And now I'm going to place a sheet of parchment paper on top of the pie crust and pour in some beans. You can use whatever baking weights that you have, but dry beans work just as well. And I just store them after I use them and reuse them again later. So for this recipe, I will be using a pound and a half of fresh strawberries. I will be slicing some and I will also leave some whole.
Okay, so now that my strawberries are sliced, I'm going to set them aside and make room for my baked pie crust. And next I'm going to carefully remove these beans because they are still piping hot. And then I am going to allow my pie crust to cool. Okay, so now I'm going to prepare the glaze for this pie. In a small sauce pot, I am going to add three quarter cups of sugar. I'm using just a regular granulated sugar. To that, I will add three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm also going to add one and a half cups of water. Now over a low heat, you wanna make sure you're working with a low heat, I'm going to constantly whisk this for about five minutes. Basically what you're looking for is to bring this mixture up to a low and slow simmer, and it's going to turn somewhat translucent. And again, I just wanted to show you the heat level that I'm using. On my stove knob, it is around a two or a three. You do not want to bring this to a boil. You don't want a rapid boil because then it'll burn, it'll congeal, and it'll get too thick. It'll be a mess. Okay, so it has been around five minutes and it has thickened, it has turned somewhat translucent. So now I'm going to add my strawberry jello. But right here I made a mistake. I was distracted and I added the whole pack. You can add the whole pack, but I want a softer, looser texture to the glaze, so I usually only add three tablespoons, about two to three tablespoons of the strawberry jello. So whether you add three tablespoons of the strawberry jello or the whole pack, you want to give it a good mix and combine well. I like to allow the glaze to cool for about 10 to 15 minutes before pouring over my strawberries in the pie shell. So now I'm going to add my strawberries, add the whole strawberries, and then I will pour the glaze in and allow it to set for at least an hour and a half. And if you are a regular on my YouTube channel, you know most of the food that I cook is inspired by family recipes or from where I grew up. And this particular pie was inspired by the Flying Saucer Pie Company from Houston, Texas. And my family frequents this place during the holidays and particularly for their fresh strawberry cream pie during the summer when strawberries are in season. And they have been in business for around 50 years. And I absolutely love going and purchasing pies from there. So it has been an hour and a half, my pie is set and now I am going to make a fresh whipped cream topping. You can use Cool Whip or you can use canned whipped cream. Use whatever you have at your home, but I am going to use one and a half cups of heavy whipping cream. I'm going to whip it to stiff peaks and at some point in between the whipping process, I'm going to sieve in two tablespoons of confectioner sugar. formed stiff peaks and now it's ready to top this chilled pie. I can't stress enough to you, this pie is really summer in a pie shell and you can top it however you want, you can slice it and top it as you serve it, but again because I'm inspired by the Flying Saucer Pie Company's fresh strawberry cream pie, they usually add all the fresh cream on top in a swirl. They probably pipe it out of a piping bag, but I'm going to do the best I can. And I'm actually going to leave some of the red strawberries peeking out of the sides so you know that it's a delicious fresh strawberry pie. As always, the recipe and ingredients will be listed in the description box below. 
So again, shout out to the Flying Saucer Pie Company. You always make my family's holidays better. And I'll see you soon to get a slice. I hope you try this recipe. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching. Hey guys, you can click on the video icons for more recipes, or you can click on my picture icon to subscribe. Thanks for watching.